Radio here at the Santana Mall Speed and Agility Camp. The kids came out today and represented. This man is the man behind the plan, Mr. Santana Mall. Talk about the camp today and why you do this. Well, it's um, you know, it all started off with just me having a little too much fun on my own for my birthday. And, right. uh, I've always had these little weekends that I bring all of my friends up in town and, and we just enjoy the city. You know, the DMV has so much to offer. But um, as I got older into the game and uh, older with the age, I wanted to get back. You know, and I've been doing camps, you know, in Miami. I said, you know what, I might as well have a free speed to do the camp on my birthday. That'd be right. something to give us something different to do. Absolutely. And um, last year was one of my first annual uh, doing it here in the Maryland area. And it's just been joyous to see these kids keep coming. And I'm glad to see a lot of those faces I saw last year, I saw this year. That's right. And you know, it's always great when the NFL players come back and give back. And you did this absolutely for free. That's that's the great thing about it. Now, the kids that came out today, how do you think this helps them in their process to keep going? <laughs> you name it, man. Down the road, man, these kids were, you know, I'm not trying to sit here and toot our horns, but you got to understand that we did play in the professional uh, football in the NFL. We had four different quarters. And um, another guy I had here, Troy Woodbury, he was a teammate of mine, one of our New York Jets, and Lamont Jordan was here. All of us got a chance to make it. These kids are trying to get there. And I was one of those kids that sat down and watched Mark Duke and Mark Clay. I'm from Miami, so watching those guys on TV and just never thought that. You know, I, I never had a doubt in my mind that I could be there. I always said, I'm, I'm going to get there. A lot of these kids don't have that same confidence, don't have that same drive. They don't have the same kind of, you know, support to push them. So right. bringing them around us and letting them know that we just like them. Some right. of the things that they're going through, you know, some of the things that they're experiencing now. We, we was told when we were young that we were going to see it. You know, I, I quote stuff to my kids that my dad taught me years ago. And I'm like, man, you know what? I used to think of my dad was hard on me. But now as an adult with kids, I understand he was, just, you know, guiding me the right way and, and putting that stuff in my head. So, That's right. you know, with this game of football, if I can guide some of these kids to just know that, man, hey, it's not easy. You got to put work into it. And, you know, if you're enjoying it and you're having fun, then you're doing your job. And you let them know when you're out here doing your job, have fun with it. If I can tell them that now and show them that from, you know, experience and be hands on with it, and they can take that with them to their, you know, Optimus League, their high school teams, you know, and then when they make it to college, they have a chance to go pro. So just trying to show a little bit what I have just so down the line. Can help them. That's right. Now, I like how you brought the kids together and you had um, a, a good friend of yours come out and he kept it very real. Yeah. Clinton Cordes kept it very real. Is that one thing that you do? Keep it real with these kids? Don't sell them dreams. You can't sell them dreams. You know, I, I like to use the word, get it seem wrong. You know, That's right. I, I was taught that when I was young. Uncut. You know, That's right. why be around the bush? You know, a lot of us parents, you know, uh, I didn't grow up in one of those households where, you know, mom tell you something bad on TV, close your eyes. No, I see it. Watch but, you it. know, you can't be a part of that or, you you know, I mean, certain things that you can't do, but you have to see it and hear it and experience it so you'll know what it's all about. Absolutely. So you got to give it to them wrong. You got to give it to them and let them know that, man, you can experience a lot. But it's Absolutely. up to you to make that decision what you want to do with it, you know, and, and that's one thing that I've learned. You know, I've experienced a lot. I've had situations where I could have easily been a follower. You know what I mean? We have guys to this day that a lot of the reasons why they didn't make it or they're not somewhere when you bump into them in the street and like, boy, remember I was doing this and I, y'all remember, but you was a follower. So if you end up doing something that you, you could have done better and, and that's why you're in the situation now. So showing these kids, man, it's not, it's not easy. But it's not hard to go out there and be and want to do something with yourself and want to have your own vision. And a lot of them don't have it. So, you know, even with parents at home, a lot of them just don't have that the right proper guidance. So I just like to bring them all at one and let them know, man, look, you know, you have to listen to those parents, those teachers, you know, those principals, everybody that's have a, uh, that's in your life that's trying to lead you somewhere, be there for a purpose. So you take what they're giving you and make sure you put it through your daily or daily walk. And you will see yourself have anything you want because that's what it's about. It's about taking steps. As long as you take those steps, you do the right thing, you get anything out of life. That's right. You can be successful. If someone wants to get in touch with your foundation to find out what else you have going on for these youth, how can they do that? Well, one thing they can do, you know, the social media is, is wide open right now. So that's a lot of stuff that I've been posting from my, um, you know, Santana Moss Facebook page or the uh, 8 to the 9 Instagram page. I post a lot of my stuff about my foundation on there. 
Uh, I have a summer camp coming up um, June 19th to the 23rd in the Leesburg, Virginia area. You can go on eventbrite.com and uh, get information about that. But, you know, right now is just the start. I'm, I'm, I'm officially done playing ball. And what I want to do is give back to these kids the best way I can and know how. And so I'm hoping this thing can just grow every year. I want it to get bigger and I want them to know that I'm always going to be here for them. That's right. Great words from an NFL veteran, 14-year NFL veteran. If you want to hear it from anybody, this is who you hear it from, a man who has built it up from the ground up, done what he needed to do to become successful, now giving back to the youth, Mr. Santana Moss. Monet Anderson, Fox Sports.